Dear Employees as per the circular number 56 JKGAD, of 2021, dated December 22, 2021, the employees will be able to submit their property details on this portal from 1st of January, 2022 to 31st of January, 2022. The PRSF filing is to ease the employee on filing and submission of property return. Open any browser. Type prsjk.gov and in the address bar you will be landed on the PRS website. Property Return System. Employee Registration. In this page, an employee can register himself herself if the record is already available with the department. Once having clicked on Employee Registration link, page shown below will be displayed. Enter your CPIS number and click on Fetch button. Once CPIS number is entered, the new page shall be displayed wherein you need to enter the OTP, sent to registered email ID and mobile number, set password and click on register button. If the CPIS number entered does not show up, the following message will be displayed. Note, if the CPIS number does not exist, you need to get registered yourself through DDO. If the CPIS number entered does not have valid mobile number registered against it, then following page shall be displayed. Employee Login Once you have clicked on the Employee Login link, page shown will be displayed. Here you need to enter your CPIS number, password and click on Login button as shown. Once you have clicked on the Login button, OTP will be sent to your registered email ID and mobile number. You need to enter the OTP and then click on Login button as shown. Apply. After having entered OTP, the screen shown below will be displayed wherein you can apply against the notification by selecting it from the drop-down menu. The notification can be viewed by clicking on the View Notification underneath the Notification drop-down menu. Note, notification will not appear in the drop-down menu, once notification and date has passed. Editing Forms Forms can be edited by clicking on their respective buttons. To download your form, click on View Form button. Note, only unsubmitted forms can be edited. Basic Info Once you click on Apply button, the screen will appear wherein you can fill basic information details and then click on Save button as shown below. Properties After having entered basic information details, you need to add property details by clicking on Add New Property button. Once you have clicked on Add New Property button, screen shown below will be displayed wherein you need to enter various details. 1. Property Type From the drop-down menu select the type of property. 2. Property Subtype Select the property subtype from the drop-down menu. Once property type and property subtype is selected from the respective drop-down menu, the other details that need to be filled will appear. After all the details are entered, click on Save button. Once the basic information and property details are filled, click on the Submit button as shown below. Note, the details can be entered in multiple sittings. Editing Deleting Property Details Property details can be edited or deleted by clicking on the respective button. To edit the details, comma, click on Edit button, Make Necessary Changes and click on Update button. Note, only those details can be edited which have not been submitted yet. To delete details, comma, click on Delete button as shown below. Property details. Once you click on Search Property Details, following screen shall be displayed, wherein you need to select notification from the drop-down menu against which the details are to be searched, select department from the drop-down menu, enter employee name, employee designation, enter CAPTCHA and click on search button.